Ladies and gentlemen, turn your attention to the screens. Ili tuone mahali tumetoka katika muda wa miaka 50 iliyopita na mahali ambapo tunaelekea. Welcome. Tackle there. Collins and Jira slipped his way through the middle as he's done again. Over the years, Kenya has come a long way in establishing itself as a global sports powerhouse in a wealth of sports disciplines. No, I agree with that. Signs of sporting excellence were evident long before Kenya's independence from Great Britain in 1963 with the seeds of dominance planted by pioneer athletes who participated in the first Britain Empire and Commonwealth Games in Vancouver, Canada in 1954 and Olympic Games in Melbourne, Australia two years later even though they did not win any medals. Kenya started participating in international competitions in 1952 when they went to Malakasi for what you, what you used to call the British Empire Games. And of course, those days they did not win a medal. Even in football, they participated in the Corsage Cup, which was to be the East African Cup, and used to be very, very participative and very competitive. A series of impressive performances from the budding athletes would lead the two Naftali Temu winning Kenya's first Olympic gold medal in the 10,000 meters race at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico. It was also at the 1968 Olympics that Kipchoge won gold in 1,500 meters and silver in 5,000 meters. In Munich Olympics, Kipchoge won gold in steeplechase and silver in 1,500 meters behind Finn Pekka Vasala and Jipcho took silver in steeplechase. Julia Sang won bronze in the 400 meters and Mike Boit bronze in the 800 meters. The 80s saw Harambe stars emerging again to win the East and Central Africa Senior Challenge Cup three times in a row with players like Joe Masega, Sami Owino, Nashon Oluwoch, Welba Fosmulamba, Ambro Sayoi, Nahashan Mahila and others. It was the decade Kenyan boxers rode rough over rivals in Africa and the world. Robert Wangila bagging gold in the Olympics and names like Harris Ouma, James Demosh Omondi, Stephen Okumu, Akasamba greatly respected. The Kenyan Safari Rally gained global notoriety for its ruthlessness, earning a World Rally Championship Series status. The rally produced such top drivers like Joginda Singh, Sheka Mehta, Vic Preston Jr., Peter Shiyuka, Prem and Paul Choda and others who inspired the likes of Patrick Njiru, Ian Duncan and current stars. This was the decade our cricket team emerged from obscurity, first taking silver in ICC Trophy in Nairobi behind the UAE in 1994, then following up with the demolition of giant West Indies in the subcontinent two years later in the World Cup. This decade started with a fairly good performance at the Sydney Olympics this same year, where Noah Ngeng upset hitherto favorite Hisham El Gerouj, who had won the world title twice in Athens and Seville in the 1,500 meters. As expected, 3,000 meter steeplechase was won by Ruben Kosgei with Wilson Boyd Kipketer in second place. This is also the decade Kenyan stormed the Iron Curtains and left the undeniable mark at the Beijing Olympics in 2008. Pamela Jelimo, better known as Kapsabet Express, became the first Kenyan woman to win an Olympic gold in 800 meters. The late Samuel Wanjiru became the first Kenyan to win a marathon gold at the Olympics. The Kenyan National Sevens team materialized as an elite revelation of the 2000 decade with the sensational winger Collins Injera becoming the top try scorer for the 2008-2009 IRB Sevens World Series season with 42 tries. Well, Fiji to face. 
The team also made headlines across the globe during the 2009 Rugby Sevens World Cup, knocking out the cup defending champions Fiji in the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, the team did not make it to the finals as they lost to a very challenging Argentine side. And there it is, here comes the decade would also witness the supremacy of Kenyan athletes in marathons and other road races. Catherine Dereba, Robert Cheriot, Martin Lell all emerged and dominated all the big city marathons. Kenyan footballers would also penetrate the lucrative market with Denis Oliech joining French side Aje Auxerre, McDonald Mariga winning the prestigious European Championship League with Inter Milan and his younger brother Victor Wanyama playing in Belgium, Scotland and now Southampton in England. With uh, Solomon finishing, but Rudisha wants the time. Still fresh in most Kenyans' minds, David Rudisha exhibited a rare spectacle, smashing his own record in the 800-meter race. This was then followed by Ezekiel Kemboi, ensuring that Kenya maintains its firm grip on the 3,000 meters men's steeplechase by winning the London 2012 gold medal. Kemboi and Kip Kano remain the only Kenyans to have won Olympic gold medals twice, the former in Athens in 2004 and London, and the latter in Mexico and Munich. In the next five years, I want to see Kenya participating in the World Cup. I want to see Kenyan participating, even in the world of uh, women, uh, football. If you go to Olympics with 16 or 20 disciplines, if each one of those brings a gold medal, you can imagine where Kenya will be. So, my encouragement is, let the ministry develop the sport, smaller sport, so that when you go to the Olympics, we can amass those gold medals and put them together and be Kenya become a champion.